everyone, it's Brody with Everything Board Games. NSV sent me Quantum, so let's get it to the table. Quantum is the third strike in its line of roll and write games by NSV, and I like to think of this as kind of the long lost sister game of those others. First was Quicks, where you filled in the rows of each color from left to right to get as many numbers filled in as you can before someone locked the color. Then Quinto, which lowered the dice to three and changed the rule where you could fill in any empty spot, not necessarily left to right, and made a rule that each column needed to be a different number, and added bonuses by filling a designated areas to get a higher score. Well, Quantum comes with seven dice, four pencils, and a pad to keep track of the points for, by each player, and the first player will roll all seven dice. And if they want to re-roll as many dice as they can, they can roll a second time. It's important to know that the white die is a normal six-sided die number one through six, but the colored dice have different colors with different numbers distributed differently on each die. When rolling, you are allowed to look at each die to know which colors and numbers are on each face of the die before deciding to re-roll it or not. And once you have re-rolled, then you will sort the dice by colors, placing the white die by itself and grouping all the colors together. Now you might be wondering which dice to keep and which to re-roll, and we'll be filling in your score pad from left to right of each color, and the first four numbers need to increase. Then you'll see this bold line, and then after the bold line, the numbers will then decrease. So you can choose to write a number in whichever color, but always to the leftmost open spot. Once a column is filled in, you will then score the points in that column, which is not the lowest number of that column, but the second lowest. And you will write it in beneath in the box. So let me go back a little. After rolling, the active player will choose a color. And they will add all those colors of the die or dice together and add it to the white die. They'll get a total and they'll write it in the color in the most left open spot. That color is then taken away. Now all other players, including the active player, can then choose the remaining and do the same. Adding the numbers of the single color together and then adding it to the white die. Active players should write down at least one number during their turn or else they will need to mark off a misthrow on the right side of their score sheet. The first misthrow will cause negative one points and the next negative two points and so on until the fifth one will give you negative five points. To better understand again, the active player has two opportunities to write down a number, and if they choose to skip the first step in doing so, all colors will be available for all players. Likewise, the active player can choose from the first step and then choose not to write anything in the second step, or the active player can write down a number on both of those opportunities. Again. Only when you're the active player and you don't want to or you can't write down a number, you will gain a misthrow. If you are not and you decide not to, you will not have to mark a misthrow for the negative points. The dice are then passed to the next player and then we'll continue the game until either someone has completed all their colored rows or someone gets five misthrows. At that time, all players will add up their points on the bottom of their sheet from the boxes and the player with the highest score will win the game. I really like these games because it really only takes some dice and a piece of paper to play it. Setup is done by opening the box and there is some big strategy figuring out which dice to re-roll or when to fill in a number or not. I like how in the game your score isn't the lowest number in the column, but the second lowest number. So this will let you at times play something low without dragging your score down. Again, the game keeps everyone involved on each player's turn because you'll be choosing one of their colors that they leave behind for you to use. When writing in your numbers, you'll want to make sure not to get too high on the first three numbers because you'll need to put the highest number in the fourth spot. Although there is a possibility of getting up to 33 points, it's almost impossible to get. And even getting a number above 15 or 20 can be hard due to the chances of rolling a different color. Quantum is very similar to Quix and Quinto as they all have you roll dice and write down the number in your score sheet. I wouldn't say that there's anything way better in this game than the others, but rather it's a game that plays similarly, but changes how you place the numbers on your score sheet. If you are a fan of Quix or Quinto, then you, you need to check out Quantum. And if you haven't played any of the three, then you really need to get your hands on one of them. Again, this is Quantum from NSV, and if you like what you see, then go 